All right, welcome everybody to game number two of Taller versus Sunday. Uh, right, so we got Sunday in the top right, Taller in the top or bottom left on Intune Valley, so Protoss versus Terran. Um, Taller won the first game. I'm sure he was uh, wishing for the DM kill button during that game, but no such luck. Yes, indeed. And uh, looks like they're uh, they're getting rolling. They're at furthest positions across the map from each other, and uh, gonna get that gonna get that ball rolling with the uh, first supply depot and the uh, first pylon. So again, it looks like Sunday's gonna wall. Um, I was thinking about it. Like, I really don't like this wall in Protoss versus Terran because Protoss units are slow and clumsy. Like a wall versus like a Zerg player would be appropriate, but like. He's losing valuable minerals. <laughs> I mean, it's like it's probably like just twenty minerals, but you know, it's the little things. It's the little things. Yep, all those little things that add up to uh, big things later on. So I guess uh, I guess this map might not be pre-programmed for cross position, for as as you said earlier. So Teller's getting every possible place. Um, gateway on thirteen. Right, but I guess you know with the wall off, you have. Um... You block. You just kind of block the scouting. Yeah, I, I guess so. And, and and that's that's important. I mean, honestly, I don't like the wall off with Zerg either. But that's because I like to go in crush, crush faces. <laughs> it's called a baneling. It will do everything <laughs> for you. Um, yeah, I I always like to make roaches for some reason. Like no matter what, I'm like he's making whatever. I'm gonna go roaches and. Uh, I've I've started to try just making banelings against Terran. Banelings Works well. Are crucial, especially against a, a bio ball. Um, so we're seeing a second barracks. Uh, looks like um, Sunday's doing pretty much the exact same thing he did last game. Same thing with Teller. Even we'll see if he his, goes with uh, that uh, that double tech lab like he did the initial the first time. Yeah, we'll see. Looks like he's pumping out a marine first. Um, perhaps a deny. Actually, I guess there's. There's not much reason to pump out an early marine unless he's going for early aggression, which it does look like he's doing with the three barracks. So we're probably gonna see like heavy marine pressure. Oh yeah. Just going for the easy win, I think. I guess so. I mean, he's one up. He's got. He can lose one. So. Yeah, we're seeing marines coming out of both. So, so after we did the first game, when I was driving, I was thinking like, man, casting a StarCraft 2 game, that's like the nerdiest thing I've ever done. And then I realized, I dungeon master for an online D&D game. <laughs> you know, you gotta, you gotta add nerd points wherever you can. I guess so. And, and then you just, it just makes you that much cooler when you do like actual cool stuff in the real world. That's true, because then you're like the, um... The unusual case. In a right. good way, though. Like, if you were, like, the star quarterback or something <coughs> in college, and, like, a supreme nerd, like, that'd be everything. It's like how people drool over how Mila Kunis plays um, World of Warcraft. That's pretty hot. That is hot. I, I totally wish uh, I had an actress girlfriend that played World of Warcraft. Did you see, uh, did you see that Oz movie? Uh, no, I did not. Was it's it okay, oh, but okay. she was really, really fly with the big floppy hat and her, <laughs> her red coat in the beginning when she first meets up with the guy. Oh, look at this down here. The yeah, engineering bay to deny the expansion. Oh, man, what a jerk. Meanwhile, he's taking his expansion. Man, what a greedy jerk. But Teller doesn't seem to realize this yet. Oh, wait, he, just, oh. he now does. Oh, there it goes. You die, SCV. That's what you get for that. <laughs> Now he's gonna get the cancel off. Hopefully. Yep, he oh, does. Yeah. There he goes. So this is interesting that he expands, but he's also got a crap ton of marines. Well, they're marines though, like yeah, you know. Yeah, you just A click. Just A click, you build a thing, you have mules, mules are collecting all the minerals and you know, you just but Taylor does have a bunch of uh, force fields ready with these sentries, so he should be able to hold this off just fine. But, and he knows it's coming with the probe at the watchtower, so. Yes, he does. He should definitely be in a good spot.
I don't know, that's a wide ramp to have to block off at the force fields, and they don't have a whole lot of energy. That is true. Well, I guess we'll wait and see. This is gonna be uh, this is gonna be pretty close, I think, actually. And that was the most pimp force field ever thrown <laughs> down by yeah. anybody in StarCraft history. <laughs> uh oh, uh oh. Nope, that's it. That did not turn out very well at all. No, not at all. So he cancels the Nexus. He's sitting back. Uh, he's got two sentries here. Ooh, those field force fields are not too bad. Not too bad, but I mean, all he's got are these two sentries, and this is true. This is not looking good. Uh, no, oh no, not at all. Meanwhile, we got this another a little batch bit of, of marines on the way. A little way. bit of panic mode. Oh yeah, I'd be screaming right now. All right, he's pulling probes. That's it. Pro micro by Sunday there. <laughs> Mining the flesh of human marines. And he's going that for the cyber core instead of the workers, which is interesting. Nope. And it's going nope. for the stalker. We got another batch of uh, three marines coming in. Yeah, I don't know. I think this is it for Taller. I think so. He's he's really lost a lot of workers there. I don't know if he can come back from that. He's lost uh, 20 workers. Talos throwing it's down the well played. played. Game is over. Game is over, and that means that, that Taller loses. It goes to the loser's bracket, while Sunday takes the win on the first uh, set and heads over to the winner's bracket. And he'll be All playing right. uh, Critalos next? Critalos, yeah, Critalos got a bye. So he, that's uh, Ruin Desires. He plays some chump-ass character in, in EFU now. I don't know. <laughs> Somebody who cares. Um, and then, uh, and then the next match is going to be. I think it's you and uh, Caster. Yeah, that's that's going to be intense. Um, All right. Well, looking forward to seeing that one actually. So. Okay, it's very cool. Alrighty then.